we reformed 601 Squadron, which was a famous World War II and Battle of Britain squadron. We re reformed it in 2017 as a way of bringing in some diverse people from across the private sector and academia, people who, who had a link and an affiliation to the Royal Air Force but, and really wanted to, to join us and, and, uh, and, and help us. And we formed this, uh, this group of people, initially 20, it's now up to 70. And we've got this wonderful range of people who help me uh, advise, help the, the senior leadership team, and help the Royal Air Force to think differently about doing things. It's, uh, it's been a phenomenal success, and today's presentation of their squadron standard underlines that success. Yeah, tell me about that. What, what's the significance of a new standard? The standard is, it symbolises everything that the squadron, and in particular its operational war record, and, and uh, embroidered on the squadron are their battle honours, and the squadron saw active service in Dunkirk, uh, the Battle of Britain, as I say, uh, North Africa, Malta, you know, all around the world, all these key battles in the Second World War. So it's a link to that rich history of the squadron. It, it also symbolises that the the Royal Auxiliary Air Force's place in the Royal Air Force. It's a squadron exact, it's a squadron standard exactly the same as we would have for our active duty squadrons. And, and it symbolises the importance that we place in, in this particular squadron, 601 Squadron. And you personally, as Chief of the Air Staff, have you benefited from the advice that's come from this squadron? Oh, absolutely. And, and I take a bit of uh, paternal pride in it as well, because I was the Assistant Chief of the Air Staff in 2017 when we established it. So I've been on the journey with the, with the, so the rebirth of 601 Squadron throughout. And as a Chief, I have, I'm in absolutely no doubt of the, the value of it, and I'm, I'm very proud of it. Last week we had a conference in London where there were 67 Air Chiefs and Space Chiefs from around the world. And on the stage in, in various uh, presentations and discu uh, discussion panels, were members of 601 Squadron wearing their Royal Auxiliary Air Force uniform, contributing to the debate, adding value. And uh, I couldn't have been more proud to have been on that journey with them over the last five years.